So the first book we're going to look at, and we're going to build, also has my sound, I did some tweaking, so we're going to be building a, a minor dungeon. <laughs> Let me just scoot, this book is huge. <laughs> Josh, this suggests, this is technically Josh's. Um, oh yeah, it's a giant mouse pad. I think it's technically a desk pad. Uh, this is technically Josh's design year uh, journal. Um, I also have music playing. Can you hear the music? I don't want it to be overpowering. It's designed by Panduan Games, and I have met Andy in person. I've had several um, conversations with Andy, who is the owner and runner of Panduan Games. I just love the dude. He's just so great. He's so charming. He's so fun. Um, he sent Josh a bunch of Kirby stickers, and they were just so great. So, um, I don't hear it. No, okay, I'll turn it up. Um, thank you. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. Um, okay. So I just wanted to show this off. He didn't send this to us for free. We did pay for this, but we both adore Andy and Panduan Games. So wanted to take a look. Is Josh going to transfer his existing Dungeon 23 stuff into the turtle? That's a good question. Josh, please. Uh, let us know. Lemon, I think this should be... You know how the lighting is. It's big, so I can't really get the camera much closer. Um, so he, what's great about the, oh my gosh! Hey, Justin! Thank you so much for 11 months. Oh, and Randall, you resubscribed too. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um... So they have some information in here on how to build out a Dungeon 23. This was created in the spirit of Dungeon 23, which is a dungeon room every single day for your, a year. Um, can you see all of the... I'm like surrounded by equipment right now. Just gonna scooch that up. Just skosh. Um, and what we eventually... I think I was part of the conversation. Everything blurs together. I didn't like make the decision, but I remember being part of the conversation was that uh, having it dedicated to a year would be difficult, like if you actually had it to 2023. If you miss a day now, what do you do with a whole friggin' notebook? Um, so this is just a dungeon, a dungeon a day journal, but it's not necessarily locked to a year. It's undated. Uh, what I like about this journal, I guess, is the size, first off. Like I said, it's flippin' huge. I didn't even show you... I'm, lo I'm locking my wallet away because every time I so flip through, I spend way too much. <laughs> you should um, you should post pictures of what you buy though. Post your hauls <laughs> when you do buy stuff. Um, it's very thick. The paper is really good quality. I wanted to do a bleed through test. I have a sharpie. Sharpie. Why don't we do a quick bleed through test? I bet a sharpie might bleed through. My fountain pen isn't in here. Paper is really nice. Oh. Ugh. It's a big Sharpie. Sharpie test. Go. Sharpie doesn't bleed through. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little test. Um. I was trying to write hi, and then I got nervous because everybody's watching me write. There, okay, so there's some ghosting. Not not a ton of bleed through with my huge Sharpie, just some ghosting. I also have my favorite pen of all time is uh, Uniball. All right, I have so many cameras that it's hard for me to remember which one there. The Uniball, I'm suddenly a beauty influencer. Um show you here actually. Uniball. These are my favorite. Let's see how these do. I don't know where my fountain pen is. Gosh, do you know where it is? So Kaya, I did this crowdfunding thing and I lost control of my life while that was going on is what happened. <laughs> Alright, let's check the Uniball real quick. Let's see. See how that goes. Uh, this is my 
favorite pen I use I love to use it for drawing no it does bleed through a lot of my notebooks pretty bad so um, what I like about this pen is hard to explain I just think they write really well I've tried a different a lot of different pens I've gone to grad school so I just feel like I have the authority to tell you what's a good pen and what isn't, and the Uniball, Uniball Vision is the best. This pen right here, I was excited about, the Vision Elite, no, trash. This one, no, if it's in this plastic, like, glossy, no, you want the matte, greatest pen. All right, my goodness, do tell us more. About this. <laughs> okay. No bleed, a little bit of ghosting, but no bleed through. And I was like, I was coloring in. So that's pretty good. All right, I now have my fountain pen. I don't remember what ink, but I think it's blue. It might be purple. It's just a Lamy. It's like the basic Lamy pen. I haven't written with it in a while. Oh no. Is it out of ink? It's struggling. I probably need to do maintenance or something on it. I'm a bad fountain pen owner. There we go, I think it's... I've had this for years and then I stopped using it and then Kaya got me excited about fountain pens again so I put ink in it and then I forgot it existed again. Typical ADHD. Please don't judge my writing. I don't- I'm getting nervous. People are watching me write. I was trying to write hello again. Kaya's name. Ugh! I don't see any bleed through. I don't see any ghosting. Because it would have been here and here. So the fountain pen seems like- seems like it works good. So that's a no to the sharpie. Ugh. It usually works better than this, so it, it must need some maintenance. I think it has plenty of ink. Oh well, we'll stop with the... <laughs> um, so, Sharpie's a no-go. Um, Uniball... Uniball might be, might be tough if you're coloring in, but... I think that looks pretty good. Can't see the fountain pen at all, so... So that means other pens would probably be fine. All right, so that's the paper quality is very good. That's what we were testing because this is like a, a writing journal. The paper is also very smooth. I don't know what pound, what GSM he went with. It does include all of this is dot grid paper, uh, and then you can put your notes here. This is like a little grid that you can color in, so you can mark off your calendar of um, rooms. It's like your day tracker, day tracker. And then we have a start your dungeon year journal area. Pick an idea, begin at the beginning, and every seven, 14, or 30 days, pick a theme by rolling on the theme table. Oh, I, I need my dice. Shoot. Gosh. Josh made me tea, and then he brought me my fountain pen, and now I need him to bring me my dice. <laughs> dungeon creators using big Sharpies are so soft. <laughs> Anyways, they are. <clears throat> ah, fresh delivery. Alrighty. Let's do, let's, we're not gonna, I'm probably not gonna draw a dungeon, but let's do like a quick little generation. There's a ton of tables in here and I just wanted to roll on them for fun. Uh, some of you may have been here when I went through the digital version of this, but I just wanted to, I didn't, I haven't gone through yet. So this is, I know it's kind of dark on this side, but you can survive. This is a D6. Um, today let's make a detailed drawing. I will not be drawing on this stream today. I have done drawing streams. But we, but let's pretend like we're drawing. Oh, this is an oracle. Okay, ask me a question roll. That's cool. I'm not asking a question. I don't have any questions. Mind is out of questions. Now, there's a ton of other tables. So let's take a, a quick look at them and perhaps roll on them. Joshua's delivery at your table in 30 seconds or less than your orders. <laughs> Idea generator. I love this. So these are 66. 
So d66 is when you roll, I'm gonna get a better d6, is when you roll 2d6 and you take the numbers that you see, you don't add them together or anything like that. Ah, oh, sorry. Here you go. Get in here. Get on in here. Get on in here and look at this. I know, it's still kind of small. Big book. So this is, this result is 23. 23 is military. All right. So an adjective taking place at a setting. Oh, that was the genre. Oh, okay. Okay. So first it's 23. So over here, social. 14, social, epic. 55, social, epic. High school. Oh. So prom. Right. This prom. Um, fantasy objects. What's going on at prom? 24. Otherworldly. All right. So Eldridge Abomination is visiting prom. What are they bringing? 34. Object. A helmet. So an... So an other, an eldridge-ish, otherworldly helmet. That is that prom. It's a prom, the crown. <laughs> what is, what is a crown if not an ornate helmet? <laughs> uh, horror objects. Yeah, let's see what horror objects we got. 22. Uh, haunted. 44. Wow. 22 and 44. What are the odds of that? Haunted urn. Probably the punch bowl. Uh, let's look in the rooms. I want to know what rooms this is. What room? Obviously the gymnasium's possible, but maybe do it somewhere else. Great hall. All right. So it's at the gymnasium. That's funny. <laughs> Hello, Rosin. Thank you so much for following. Rosin, Rosin. Uh, all right. So... I think there's another table. Oh no! I'm so sorry. Just followed me and already timed out. I'm so sorry. I wish there was something I could do, but unfortunately a nat one is what what has happened. No, this is really dark. Sorry, team. Fame is a work in progress. I know. I, it's completely random. It's a it's random. Um. So then you also have flora, fauna, biomes, weather. Congratulations on catching your moth, Justin. We've got a funky table, themes. There's just there's a lot here. Oh gosh. Uh, we got a town generator, populations. I just joined and the first thing I see are the words funky thing. 16! That's not bad. That's not bad. That's like, I know D&D doesn't have degrees of success, but I love to work off degrees of success. And I would say that's pretty close. Two, six, very successful. Uh, faction builder. That's fun. So, oh, one more table. I guess that there's a lot. Uh, we've got an NPC generator and a name generator and then even more sources for... Um, tables. And then the rest is literally just blank pages for journaling and creating. So that is the, which I will post a link. Ah, ah, I got it. I caught it. I'll post a link to this in chat. Uh, the digital version is free. Hey, Starbuck. Welcome in. The digital for version of the dungeon is free. Um, you can get this copy. I think you can get this, this big boy. Sorry. I know. I'm sorry. It's so big. I can't get it. In. I can't get it. Let me compare it to my head. It's so big. It's so big. Head compare. I don't have a banana. Um... You can get this off their store. I just sent a link. I believe it's also available at Knave of Cups. So if you want it at a discount,